Absolutely. What a fantastic uh, summer. Another great uh, result uh, here in uh, Zurich. I'm sure he was just uh, ready to go out in, in battles. Great atmosphere, great everything. Uh, this is my first time actually running under sub-20 in this kind of conditions. Uh, and I'm yeah, happy with how the time went. And I'm just disappointed with how I ran my cave today. Something that's not in me. So I believe with the two weeks left now, just to go back and fix uh, that cave and see how we could do it uh, at the final. Because uh, it's not always accurate for you to to catch up. You know, sometimes you're gonna catch up when it's too late. So just for me to just go back and fix that. Where do you find that extra gear to uh, take it in the last 40 meters? I mean. It just all comes in the, the belief no and the hard work that you knew have done from the get-go sure the day you started your training. So I knew that uh, I haven't skipped any day. There's a 400 meter program in me. When, they, when, when others fail, I still have that one form that, that keeps me going. So it means a lot to me. And you really seem to be enjoying yourself in the last uh, couple races. I mean, it's all about enjoying. Without enjoying the races, then I don't think uh, there will be... There will, be, there will be this kind of times and there's, there's never going to be uh, a dual moment uh, on the track that you have if you, still, uh, if, if you zone in so much. Yeah, definitely. Congratulations. Curious. Thank you. Sorry about that. I was going to say, curious. I mean, 1955, you haven't, you said you haven't been doing training, you've been running I think that's because now there's nothing left for you to, to compete in or, or anything to do. So it, de it, it definitely comes from the 400 meter program. And then I know in Rome we spoke about, you know, you wanted to do a walkout with Mondo. You actually got to, to do it. How did it feel to come on the track yesterday? I mean, it was great coming out with Mondo, you know. It was a, a group of, of greatness, looking at the people that were there behind him. So it meant a lot to me, you know. Finally, I, I had to see the race live, close range, and I'm happy with how, with how it came about it. I mean, you actually, I think you predicted 10-3 would get the win. I mean, what, what do you think Mondo is, would be capable of if he really trained for the 100? I mean, a sub-10 will do for him if he definitely trained. Looking at a 10-3, not every athlete runs, you know, even though they're training for, for the 100 meter sprint directly, and he still managed to pull, pull up something like that. So a sub-10 for him would, would definitely do a 9-9, 9-8, something about just 9 we we'll definitely do for him if he really, really changed for him. And then last question, just looking towards Brussels, you got the, you're going to double 100, 200? Uh, I think for now, just to put much focus into the 200, where I know uh, the, 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 the trophy is definitely there. And then 100, as maybe it will happen like how it happened in the, in the Olympic final. You're not going to get a great start. So for me, I just want to focus more and channel more energy into the 200. And would you want to give a prediction on what you think you might be capable of in that process too? I mean, definitely looking at the lineup and how people are ready, it shows that a world lead might come out or more than that. But definitely a world lead. Thank you.